Hello, this is Urshadina. Today we will show you how to set up an online tax system for your business. And this time, our pick for you is the WordPress ERP. It's an all-in-one enterprise resource planning tool for WordPress. The WordPress ERP has four independent modules, Human Resource Management, Customer Relationship Management, Project Manager, and Accounting. WordPress ERP lets you collect tax rates for different areas, different product categories, and for agencies who collect taxes. So be sure to enable the WordPress ERP's accounting module. Let's start by setting the tax rate for an area. Click on WordPress ERP then click on Accounting, click on the Tax tab, and click on Tax Rates. Now click on View Tax Zones to create a tax zone, which is under Tax Shortcuts. Click on Add Tax Zone. A pop-up page will appear. Enter the tax zone name, tax number, and click on default if this is the main area. Then hit on save to finish. We will now set the tax rates for different product categories. Under tax rates, click on view tax categories to create a tax category. Then click on add tax category. In the pop-up page, Enter tax category name and give a description if possible, but it's not mandatory. When you are done, hit save to finish. Time to set up a tax agency. Navigate to tax, then click on tax rates, then click on the add tax rate button. Enter the tax zone name, component name, agency, tax category, and tax rate. When you are done, hit save to finish. If you have not created any agency or category in the first place, you can create them by simply clicking on Add Tax Agency and Add Tax Category. Then select your agency name from the drop-down list and do the same for tax category and click save when you are done. So we set tax for the agencies and for product categories but what if we have different tax agencies collecting tax for the same category when there is more than one agency collecting taxes on the same category in the same zone that is when the compound tax comes into play. So, choose a tax zone and enable tax compound. A button called Add Component will be visible. Proceed to add your component name, tax agency, and tax category, and also the tax rate. Then click on Add Component and proceed to add the component name, a different agency, tax category, tax rate, and click on save when you are done. To pay tax, from the accounting dashboard, under the tax tab, click on tax payment. Now click on the New Tax Payment button. Set the tax payment method, Payment to, Payment from, Tax Amount, and Voucher Type. You can also add some extra comments to the payment if you like. When you are done, click on Save to complete the tax payment. The Tax Payment section also shows you a history of your tax payment you can also delete or edit the information. In addition, you also have the option to print or mail the information. 
To view your tax report, from the Accounting Dashboard, click on the Reports tab and then click on View Report under Sales Tax. Now select a tax agency from the drop-down list and then click on View. You should be able to see a tax report based on the dates. And that's how you manage the tax system using the WordPress ERP accounting module. Be sure to check out the WordPress ERP website for more information on automating your business operation. That's it for now. Bye!